Chapter 1 The Birth of Chaos In the beginning there was the void, a formless expanse where time and space lay dormant, an endless abyss that predated light and life. The celestial spheres had yet to be ordained, and the firmament was without stars. It was within this primordial darkness that the seeds of chaos stirred, unfurling tendrils of potential that would weave the fabric of existence. Amidst this nascent chaos, a presence began to coalesce, a force of nature so potent that its very conception sent ripples through the void. This was no ordinary creature that emerged from the depths of the unformed cosmos, but a being of immense power, destined to become the embodiment of the untamed sea and the unbridled fury of the storm. This was the birth of Leviathan, the great sea monster of legend. Leviathan's form was as fluid as the waters from which it sprang, a colossal entity that defied the constraints of shape and size. Some spoke of it as a dragon, with scales that glistened like a thousand jewels and eyes that burned with the fire of creation. Others saw it as a serpent, its body coiling and uncoiling in an eternal dance of primal energy. Yet, all agreed on the awe-inspiring terror it inspired a creature whose very presence signified the untamable and unpredictable nature of the world. The ancient texts whispered of Leviathan's origins, tales passed down through generations of sages and seers. It was said that when the divine voice uttered the words of creation, the echoes of that voice lingered in the void, and from these echoes, Leviathan was born. A creature of both the sea and the sky, it held dominion over the waters that covered the earth and the tempests that roared above. As the world took shape, with land rising from the sea and life taking root upon the earth, Leviathan remained a constant reminder of the chaos that lay just beneath the surface of order. It was the wild, untamed spirit of the world, a symbol of the struggle between the forces of creation and the ever-present threat of destruction. The legend of Leviathan spread far and wide, crossing oceans and continents, as sailors and explorers carried tales of their encounters with the beast. Some spoke of it with reverence, others with fear, but all understood that Leviathan was more than just a creature of the deep. It was a manifestation of the primordial chaos from which the world had sprung, a reminder that even in the light of day and the calm of the sea, darkness and tumult were never far away. And so, the story of Leviathan began, a legend woven into the very fabric of existence, a tale of the eternal dance between order and chaos, creation and destruction, life and the unfathomable depths from which it came. The birth of chaos was not just the beginning of Leviathan's story, but the prologue to the saga of the world itself, a narrative that would unfold across the ages as long as the seas roared and the winds howled. Chapter 2 The Challenge of the Divine As the eons passed, the world grew accustomed to the rhythms of creation. Continents shifted, mountains rose, and life evolved in a myriad of forms. Civilizations were born, each seeking to impose their semblance of order upon the natural world. Yet, Leviathan remained, a relic of the time before time, a constant in the ever-changing tapestry of existence. It was during an age of prophets and kings that the divine, the architect of the universe, gazed upon the world and saw that the balance between order and chaos had begun to wane. Leviathan, in its unyielding nature, had grown bold, its presence no longer a mere symbol but a force that challenged the boundaries set by the divine. The seas, once the cradle of life, became tumultuous and unpredictable. Leviathan's roars thundered beneath the waves, stirring hurricanes and typhoons that lashed against the shores of the world. Sailors feared to venture into the deep, and coastal settlements lay in ruin, a testament to the sea monster's unchecked might. The divine, in infinite wisdom, knew that Leviathan's power must be contained, not destroyed, for it was a necessary part of the world's design, a counterbalance to the order that allowed for growth and change. Thus, the divine called forth a challenge, a test of wills between the creator and the creature, a confrontation that would echo through the heavens and the depths below. In the heart of the storm, where the sea met the sky, the divine appeared before Leviathan in a form as resplendent as the dawn. 
The air crackled with the energy of creation, and the water stilled in anticipation of the encounter. The divine spoke, not with words, but with the language of the cosmos, a symphony of stars and fate that resonated with the core of Leviathan's being. Leviathan, great beast of the depths, you have grown too proud, too untamed. You defy the limits set upon you, and in doing so, you threaten the balance of all things. I challenge you to acknowledge your place within the order of creation, to bend your will to the purpose for which you were born. Leviathan, whose voice was the crashing of waves and the howling of gales, responded with a defiance that shook the foundations of the earth. It would not be tamed, for its essence was freedom, the wildness of the sea that knew no master. Yet, in the presence of the divine, it felt the weight of its own existence, the burden of being the harbinger of chaos. The battle that ensued was not one of claws and teeth, but of wills and wits. The divine wove spells of containment, binding Leviathan with chains of light and sound, while Leviathan fought with the fury of the ocean, its every thrash a tempest that sought to break free from the celestial restraints. For days and nights the struggle continued, a spectacle that mortals could scarcely comprehend. In the end, it was Leviathan's own realization of its role in the grand design that brought the contest to a close. It understood that to be the embodiment of chaos was not to be an agent of destruction, but a keeper of potential, the possibility of change and renewal. With a final, thunderous cry that echoed across the seas, Leviathan yielded to the divine. The chains of light dissolved, and the sea monster sank beneath the waves, its form disappearing into the depths from which it had once risen. The seas calmed, and the world breathed a sigh of relief, for the challenge of the divine had been met, and the balance restored. Yet, the legend of Leviathan lived on, a tale of a creature that had dared to defy the heavens and learned its place within the cosmos. It was a reminder that even the greatest of beasts could find harmony with the world, and that the dance between order and chaos was an eternal one, with each step guided by the hand of the divine. In the fathomless embrace of the ocean's bosom, where light dares not trespass, the legend of Leviathan endures. This great Leviathan, once the harbinger of tempests and the sovereign of the untamed deep, now slumbers in the heart of the sea, its legacy etched into the very currents that cradle the world. Whispers of its might and majesty traverse the briny depths, carried forth by the creatures that dwell within the marine realm. They speak of a time when the sea itself bowed to the whims of a creature so formidable that even the divine took pause. Yet, in its wisdom, the beast learned to harmonize its chaotic essence with the symphony of creation, becoming a guardian of the potential that lies in the abyss. To this day, mariners cast their eyes to the horizon with a mix of fear and reverence, for they know the sea is a vast and mysterious domain, where Leviathan's spirit still roams. Each storm that swells, each wave that crashes upon the shore, carries the echo of its ancient power, a power that once threatened to engulf the world, now a silent sentinel of the deep. And so, the legacy of Leviathan is not one of destruction, but of transformation. It is a testament to the enduring dance between the wildness of nature and the order of the cosmos. For as long as the oceans rage and the skies weep, the memory of Leviathan will persist, a reminder that even the greatest of chaos can find peace in the grand tapestry of existence. Let us then remember Leviathan, not as a beast of malice, but as a symbol of the eternal balance that governs all life. In the depths of the sea, its legend lives on, a story of redemption, of power harnessed for the greater good, and of the unbreakable bond between the world we see and the mysteries that lie beneath.